Good morning and welcome to TaylorMade, where every day is an opportunity to bring fashion and style into your life. We're here on EmpowerMe.tv and I'm your host, Brian Rada, where today I am joined by the editor-in-chief of Girl Talk HQ, Miss Asha Daya. Good morning, Asha. Hey, Brian. Hey, everyone. So great to be here. Thanks for having me and let's talk fashion and style. Yes, indeed. Well, New York City. Christmas window displays, I love it! And shopping! <laughs> yes, it is that time of year again when New York City brings out the finest window displays for all of the world to see. We have assembled and compiled some of the best images that the city has to offer. And no collection would be complete without looking at Macy's. Yes. This is the iconic Macy windows um, featured at 151 West 34th Street between 6th and 7th Avenues. The brand new windows on 6th Avenue this year depict the holiday dreams of a young boy as he imagines a magical winter wonderland complete with animated snowfall, icy woodland creatures, fairies, glittery baubles, and other fantastical elements. Well, one of the biggest additions and innovations in window dressing this year for Christmas are these amazing interactive windows. Macy's, you'll see here, there's a little boy depicted. He actually has his hand on the glass, and the, the actual shimmer is following his hand as he moves it across the glass. A lot of the major brands and stores are using interactivity in a fun way this year, and Macy's is no exception. That's really cool. Well, the next image we've got is at Henry Bendel store. It's at 712 Fifth Avenue at 56th Street. Now, Bendel's window, windows pay tribute to the late caricaturist Al Hirschfeld. You may have heard of him. He's very iconic. Check out his signature take on famous folk like Woody Allen, Whoopi Goldberg, Sarah Jessica Parker, Matthew Broderick, Liza Minnelli, Marilyn Monroe, and a few others. Now, many of Hirschfeld's original drawings are on display inside the store. And of course, you've probably seen his drawings inside the New York Magazine as well. Absolutely. I love, love, love his work. Well, the king of window displays, the one that started it all, is Lord Ann Taylor. They are at 424 Fifth Avenue between 38th and 39th Streets in New York City. And Lord & Taylor's windows are all about old-fashioned, early 20th century glamour this year. The displays combine black and white graphics of period cars, menus, and advertisements with animated holiday scenes featuring Santa Claus, Christmas trees, shopping, and sumptuous feasts. There are also two photo booths, windows, one on 5th Avenue and the other on 39th Street, where you can pose for a full-length picture and text it to yourself. Well, how about that for a new version of the selfie? I think that's uh, really cool. Oh, sorry, what? Um, yeah, I was just taking a selfie. Um, I think that's really amazing. I love how innovative these uh, window displays are getting, Brian. Exactly. You can even get your own self-portrait, Asha. <laughs> Just like I was doing. <laughs> well, if you are lucky enough to be in NYC this month, be sure to check out all of these wonderful floor dis uh, window displays before they come down at the end of the year. All right. Well, if these images haven't got you excited and in a dream state, perhaps the work of eye makeup artist uh, Pal Telig will. For many women, it's a challenge just to master, master the smoky eyelid. Yes, but for Tal, <laughs> Tal Palik, yes it is. But for her, on the other hand, she is creating teeny tiny masters of art um, on these eyelids. For, we can see here these miniature creations like Insomnia are truly works of art. She pays attention to the most intricate details. Even the color of the lower eyelashes is factored. And look at those sheep. She's counting sheep on those eyelids. They're That's just really floating cool. above her eyelids. So, so fun. Yeah, well, this next one is obviously the very iconic Anne Frank. And um, the, uh, the quote by Anne Frank, which says, think of all the beauty still left around you and be happy. Telig says, inspiration is sometimes unexpected. And she didn't actually plan to make this Anne Frank look. It just happened. But isn't it really great? It's just so beautiful. It really is. So the next one um, is, you may recognize some of these images, very Christmassy inspired. Um, Telig says, my new makeup looks are inspired by the two main characters of the new Disney movie Frozen, Elsa and Anna. The movie is based on Hans Christian Andersen's Snow Queen. I did not know, know, know that, I just learned something. And of course it's out in cinemas now, but these are beautiful images, very, um, they're just amazing. Very winter wonderland indeed. Yeah, the detail is spectacular. Well, all this all this talking of, uh, of eye makeup has actually got me hungry, Why? Asha. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh wait, wait. 
What is this? Wait, are those sushi? Are those sushi yes. eye rolls on above her head? That is so fun. That's brilliant. I mean, I'm gonna go have sushi for lunch, I think, after looking at this image. Yeah. It's so beautiful. And I love that she put that black strip above the eye yeah. uh, to incorporate the full sushi there. Very, very fun. And of course, uh, no talk of eye makeup would be complete without looking at Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Here she has him depicted above the eye with fun ornaments hanging off of his antlers. Very, very fun. So ladies, if, if uh, you're not afraid to stand out at your holiday Christmas party, some of these eye makeup looks might be right for you. Well, speaking of that holiday office party, one utilitarian um, piece that you might want to think about wearing is, of course, a classic denim. Um, so why not wear it to the party itself, right? So it's, it is truly um, a, a wonderful piece to add to any, any look, and there are a lot of different things you can pair it with. So we found a few fun options here for you to consider. First up, we have this piece by Zara. Yes, love a good Zara piece. And this is a utilitarian top. It's the perfect counterbalance to an ultra feminine skirt. So you pair your denim up with your girliest mini skirt, Brian. You know, maybe you don't have one of those, but that's okay. I'm giving you the idea of what it looks like for a cool boy meets girl effect. It's kind of like the boyfriend fashion thing. And keep your accessories to a minimum for even more edge. And next up, just because it's winter, guys, doesn't mean you, you can't go bold and bright. The structure of a Western-inspired chambray shirt ensures that eye-popping canary yellow trousers still look seasonally appropriate. Of course, yellow is a very Christmassy color, Brian. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Even if it's neon yellow. I yes. love it. I love it. Well, you can also look at uh, some printed denim here. Um, it makes even the easier to do a little pattern mixing, right? Don't be afraid to resuscitate summer's polka dots or floral versions to wear with a printed scarf. I love putting a good scarf with denim. Um, it has a sort of cowboy western flair, but if you pick the right scarf, it can have a completely different feeling as well. And I think this is a nice option here with some pattern in the basic denim. And uh, another option here is also to consider is polka dots, my favorite. Love it. Sometimes all you need is a new perspective uh, to revive your love of a standard. Um, in this case, an oversized silhouette makes the chambray button down feel new and interesting. And especially when you pair it with uh, leather leggings or tough chic accessories. And I do love the polka dots on that denim, indeed. Well, look at your uh, bow tie polka well, dots. You know, exactly. We're both wearing denim. Exactly. Well, I've, I've, I've actually paired today with my denim a nice vest and I have a fun polka dotted tie. I normally would never mix these things together, but when we're putting the segment together, I thought, you know what, why not? Let's mix it up. You know, I, I've, I've, I've put my denim to another level. I've classed it up a little bit. Tell, me, tell, us about, tell us about your denim. Well, this is a denim vest. Um, it's by Element Eden, and I love it because it's a bit more boho, sh boho chic element, a very bad organic, nature, earthy tone. So it's got a little bit of some lacy uh, white lace on the pockets there. And if you see on the back, I'll just turn around quickly, it's got the lace there too. So they've kind of changed it up a little bit and made it a bit more earthy. So I like it. Only in Los Angeles can you wear <laughs> denim um, in, a, in a tank top <laughs> in, in December. The fifth, or where are we at? Yeah. December seventh today. What is today? Sixth. I December sixth. Okay, gosh, I'm in between. No, days. no, it's the fifth. It's fifth. You're it right, is sorry. fifth. Okay. <laughs> well, Just you kidding. look. You're, you're getting away with it brilliantly in studio. Let me tell you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and, and outside. Well, you know who one of the biggest supermodels who I think would look fantastic in denim is Giselle Boonshin. She looks good in anything. What are you talking well, about? Well, <laughs> she pretty much does look good in anything. Yes. And this month she was featured in Architectural Digest. Um, her and her husband Tom Brady were featured in their lovely home. These two just are my favorite, you know, red carpet couple. They are so in love and it, it emanates everywhere they go. And Architectural Digest gave us greater insight into what they're like at home. So let's take a look here at uh, their amazing digs here in Los Angeles. For Boonchin and Brady, living well also means living responsibly. Um, they have a eco-conscious residence far removed from the bright lights on the runway of the gridiron. Uh, Boonchin is a global ambassador for the United Nations Environment Program, and the couple is acutely aware of issues related to the conservation of natural resources. Here you can see that the wood actually in the house um, is uh, coming from, it's, re, it's reappropriated uh, from another source. So the wood, the wood tile there and those really high ceilings, um, you know, are taken from other stock. 
Yeah, that's really cool. And I would say they're more than acutely aware. I would say they're very aware of it because in addition to composting, grey water technology for irrigation and environmentally friendly construction materials like you just mentioned, the pair installed two substantial arrays of photovoltaic solar panels, one next to the garden and the other one on the roof of the house that would meet all of the properties Electricity's need, electricity needs, excuse me. From the beginning, we asked everyone involved in the design and construction, how can we make it more sustainable, or as sustainable as possible, Bunchen says, and I definitely think they achieved that. I do, I, I, don't, I don't disagree. I, solar panels are the way to go. Yeah. And another thing that they incorporated, um, those priorities into the design plan, um, their graphic designer conceived an elegant interpretation of old world European architecture. Think French Chateau via the Pacific Coast Highway. This is a photo of their living room, and, uh, and the, we can see here that uh, the Ottoman cocktail table is covered in an embossed Bordoni leather from Richard Shapiro's uh, studio. And the lounge chairs are by Michael Berman. The chandelier is by Formations. The table lamps are by Georgius Pinio. And the curtains are made of a Sachko fabric. And the rug is by Tai Ping. I haven't heard of any of those designers, but I bet they're awesome and very eco-conscious. Well, I want to hang out in that living room, <laughs> don't you? Well, yeah, I, I want to hang out in the whole house. And the, the, here's some other cool stuff about the house. Bunchen says, we grow 85% of our fruits and vegetables. Not only do we know where our produce comes from, but our children experience firsthand the connection between the earth and their food. The children also love going into the chicken coop, feeding the chickens, and it's a blast to pick up fresh eggs for our breakfast in the morning. Man, they're just the best family ever. I feel like, <laughs> don't you just feel like you know them and want to hang out with Tom and Giselle and the kids? I, I think I want to hang out with Tom and Giselle and the kids every day. I think they fact. should invite us over for an organic breakfast sometime. <laughs> I think so too. And actually, I want to clean something up. Last week I said that Tom and Giselle uh, were boyfriend and girlfriend. They actually have been married for several years and they have, so, and <laughs> they have, they have two children. So I just want to acknowledge that um, we don't always get it right here on TaylorMade, but we are doing our fact checking on a daily basis. And I just want to apologize to Tom and Giselle and say that we do know you're married. <laughs> and um, we are invite. Aja and I both want to be invited over yes. for a for a dinner party sometime yes, soon. Please, we love you guys. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> exactly. Well, that is all the time we have for Taylor Made today. Uh, before we go, Asha, where can people find you? They can find me on GirlTalkHQ.com, Instagram, and Twitter. Just look us up at GirlTalkHQ. You can also find me on Twitter at Asha Dye. But GirlTalkHQ.com is where it's all at. Easy to find, and make sure you follow us. Excellent. Well, we're off tomorrow, but we'll see you back here on Monday, 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Until then, be fashionable and keep styling. For more TaylorMade, visit us on EmpowerMe.tv, Dailymotion, and YouTube. You can also follow us on Twitter and Instagram and like us on Facebook. Until soon, stay fashionable.